Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tracy and today's video I'm going to talk about those iridescent powders I've been watching people um, demonstrate. I think there's Lindy's and there's Nuvo. Well, I didn't have either, but I did love the effects. So I found a way to kind of get that same effect using tools I already have. So here I'm just demonstrating a couple of different ones that I've done already. And you can see that they are incredibly shimmery and ready to go as a background or a mixed media project. So if you don't have any of those powders and you do have this product, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> have here a piece of watercolor paper and I'm using the bumpy side. I've got some Catherine Puller inks and I've got some Shimmering Bliss in Miami Vice. Tulian Pink, which is kind of a purpley pink, and gold. And these are fantastic colors. So they'll add tint to whatever project you have, plus the shimmery. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do some very simple ink blending. So I'm gonna start out with the yellow color, and I believe that's Limoncello. And I'm just gonna lay down this yellow in, in a few spots. Now you can get the um, Shimmering Bliss and the Catherine Puller ink at TechniqueJunkies.com, and if you use my discount code, uh, TJ10COLOR, you can save 10% on these products, so it's a good deal. Um, I've had a, a Shimmering Bliss for a long time, especially my iridescent one. So next I'm going to go in with the Be Mine, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to blend when you add the Bliss. So I'm just going to kind of overlap a little bit here and there so I can get an orange color out of that. You see how the orange is coming out? And just kind of blending with my blending brush. You could really use any ink you wanted. You would want to use a water reactive ink though because a non-water reactive ink won't move around like we want. So next I'm going to go in with the cummerbund and just finish off the um, background basically. And you see as I'm mixing it together I'm getting some purples and I'm getting some greens. And you can go in as heavy or as light as you want to. I'm trying to get this heavy, but I have been having some problems with my blue brush. I think I talked about that earlier. And have I washed it yet since I've been complaining about it? No, I have not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, maybe sometimes might need to wash your brushes. I probably got it mixed in with some plastic from uh, embossing powder. And so the bristles are kind of stiff. It's not soft like I like them to be. But that's okay. I'm just going to press on because that's not the point of the demo. <laughs> but it does become part of it. So you can see here I've just got a bunch of blobs of color, right? In kind of a rainbow order. And you could do a striated rainbow, you know, straight back and forth. But I like my colors to be mixed. And now I'm going to go back in here with the limoncello and kind of deepen down some of those areas I want to appear more orange or more green. All right, so now I've got this sticky mat. It's made by Nikpa, and I cut it in half. And I'm going to stick this down onto that sticky mat so it doesn't curl up on me too much when I'm spraying. Um, You've seen me use a gel plate and other things. So I'm mixing up the gold first. So you're gonna go light to dark. And I'm gonna spray the gold very close to the project in the little areas that are yellow. Then I'm gonna go in with the Miami Vice, very pretty color. And I'm gonna mix it up. I wanna make sure that that um, pigment or that uh, mica is mixed in. And I'm gonna spray the areas that are blue. And it doesn't matter if you overspray, it doesn't matter at all. And then finally, I'm going to go in with the Tulian Pink. I'm going to mix it up really well, too. And go ahead and spray in the areas that are pink. Now, this is darker, but I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. It really, really makes this project just pop. 
So what we wanna do is we wanna kinda of let that dry. And you can take it off of the mat and dry it yourself with your dryer, but there we have it, it's dry. Now there's some areas that I want to be a little bit more intense with color. So I'm gonna go back in first with my gold over here in this corner. And then there's this one area right here that just kinda of went brown on me, so I'm gonna go back in with the Miami Vice and just add a little more blue and we'll go ahead and dry that. Okay, so there's our beautiful shimmery colors. Now, I wanna give this an extra pop, so I'm going in with the full-on iridescent shimmering bliss, so it's clear it's just iridescent. And I'm gonna douse the whole doggone thing with it, because I want shimmer for days. Then I do like to wipe off my mess there before I set this back down, and I will go ahead and dry this. And then once it's dry, all I need to do is seal it. And there's two reasons I like to seal these things, because a lot of times I use them for mixed media, and I'll be adding other products that are water-based. And so I want this sealed so that my colors don't move more and smear. I want them to stay put. So see as this dries, it just turns into this shimmery, wow, eye-blowing, <laughs> eye-blowing shimmer. It doesn't take too long to dry because I haven't saturated my whole paper, you know, back, back and front. So I'm just going to kind of tap off any excess there. And now I'm going to seal this and I'm going to use this uh, Distress Glaze. And I just use my finger. You can use an applicator if you want to. And I just rub it on the whole thing. And what that'll do is if I try to use like some collage medium or something like that on it, it'll keep it from smearing everywhere and it'll keep the um it'll keep the mica in basically so once you have that spread on i take a dry paper towel and buff it right back off and now I, my thing is sealed and you can see not really much mica is coming up because i've got it sealed in and so now it's still beautiful and shimmery and safe. It's safe. So I hope you like this video. Um, very easy thing to do if you don't have some of those um, special powders. If you do like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I hope you have a great day.